Imagine the sun, with all its immense power and size, being crushed down into a sphere no bigger than a city. That's not science fiction, that's real, which creates one of the most extreme and fascinating objects in the universe. So, what exactly are they, and how do they form? It all begins with the explosive death of a massive star, an event called a supernova. When a star at least eight times the mass of our sun runs out of fuel, its core collapses under its own tremendous gravity caused by its own massive mass. While the outer layers are blasted into space, the core is squeezed with unimaginable force. Protons and electrons are literally forced together to form neutrons. What's left is an incredibly dense ball composed almost entirely of these neutrons, hence the name neutron star. Just how dense are we talking? A single teaspoon of neutron star material would weigh about 10 million tons on Earth. That est like packing the weight of the entire human population into something the size of a sugar cube. This extreme density gives neutron stars an immense gravitational pull, but their density isn't their only wild feature. Neutron stars spin incredibly fast due to the conservation of angular momentum. Think of an ice skater pulling their arms into spin. Faster the slow rotation of the original star speeds up dramatically as it collapses. Some neutron stars, known as pulsars, can rotate hundreds of times per second. As they spin, they emit powerful beams of radiation from their magnetic poles. If one of these beams happens to sweep across Earth, our telescopes detect a regular pulse of energy, like a cosmic lighthouse. From city-sized spheres with the mass of a star to spinning cosmic lighthouses, neutron stars are a testament to the extreme physics that govern our universe. They are a powerful reminder of how much more we have to discover out there in the vastness of space. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. If you're fascinated by the wonders of the universe, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more deep dives into space. See you next time.